Hey everyone, today is June 7th, Thursday. Uh, yesterday I played quite a lot of Mass Effect 3, spe specifically multiplayer. I was trying to get myself to 100% galactic readiness, and I did that pretty handily. Um, I have discovered, there, there basically there are two classes in multiplayer I really enjoy playing. The Batarian Soldier, uh, he has ballistic blades and blade armor. Uh, and then I just optimize him for as many hit points and shield points as possible, as much damage reduction from the blade armor as possible, and then doing as much damage with the ballistic blades. Well, as much spread and range on them as possible. That way I can have some play with it, as it were, you know, leeway for messing up. <clears throat> and then the other class I enjoy playing is the Asari Adept, who uses Stasis Sphere and Warp, maximize for damage and then she's also geared towards extra hit points and so forth um she is very much glass like just very fragile that said um if you have the right pistol i'm using a carnifex pistol with the damage increase and i'm thinking the ammo increase i can't quite remember and what you do is you you hit someone with the stasis bubble or several someones you just drop it out there and you just go for headshots and just kill people as fast as you can like that. Um, now, initially, when the stasis bubble hits, it takes a second for you to actually be able to make out the head. Because uh, until then, it's just like this glob of white. Um, but it, it takes a second, and I was getting a lot of kills just basically stolen from me this way. Uh, it was happening with my soldier as well. Vanguards are notoriously bad at just pickup kills. Um, they're just dead. You know, that sort of thing. Oh, I, I almost got him, I almost got him, yeah, bam, dead. Ugh. The cool thing about being the adept, though, is that you get assists everywhere. You just throw stasis orb after stasis orb on all kinds of enemies, and you just pick up the assists, uh, as well as the headshots. I mean, uh, I was regularly getting, yesterday, 20 headshots a map, or more, uh, but they only give you up to, they give you 5, they give you 10, and they give you 20 uh, medals. Uh, and as my... Batarian, it was basically just, you got to be super aggressive. There was one map I was on, it was my Batarian soldier, two Krogan soldiers, and somebody else. I don't remember what he was. Uh, I think it was an engineer. So he would throw out the turret, he'd be getting up all, the, he'd be picking up all these assists, and the Krogans would be forever denying me kills. They would just be running in, until one of the Krogans got himself self killed, and then I just moved in. So, you know. Uh, but yeah, I got my score up to 100% yesterday, and then I played a little bit of the main storyline, uh, dealing with the Ardat Yachi Monastery. Uh, it's sad, it's tragic, it's abominable what happens there, uh, but it is an incredible mission, and I really enjoyed it. Um, and I love how I actually kept a few notes on a couple of pieces of paper about what missions I had done and what missions I had yet to do with regards to the side quests for extra galactic, uh, for extra war asset points. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm... The next major thing, I, the, the next thing I have to do in the game, actually, is uh, go to Rannick and help the Quarians. So, uh, hopefully that works out alright. Uh, I plan on doing that today. Um, also, I need to remember to build a ship for Star Wars. I need to build five people, at least, to go with it. And I need to... <sighs> yeah, that's about it. With regards to gaming. Um, there's other stuff I need to do, but I just don't feel like doing it. Yeah. Anyways, until next time.